Hey, what's up everybody? Um, this is a video I'm making uh, about my Bosto King T uh, 14, I think it's a 14W, I believe I own. Um, let's see, uh, let's type in B-O-S-T-O K-I-N-G-T-E-E -E. Uh, there we go. There we have it. And this is their website. Uh, this is their Facebook page right here. And uh, what I'm about to do now is go to the actual store and go into models. And I own this one. And this is not a video about how happy I am. This is about how kind of disappointed I am because I've had this thing for so long. And for some reason, I cannot get it to work right in Photoshop. It does not work right in Photoshop. I don't know why. I don't can't even explain it. But I'm going to show you what I mean in a minute. But this is the model that I own, the King T 14 WA. Um, it's it's very it's a very nice tablet. Matter of fact, uh, I'm navigating with it with the uh, with this pen here. Um, push order. No, actually, I need to go to support and hit the download button and I've downloaded all of these uh, drivers for it uh, or I downloaded this driver or I downloaded this one and I've downloaded all these drivers that uh, I've had since March of 25th of 2013 and the programs that work great with this is uh, well is uh, Sketchbook Pro and as you can see, um, it works fine. Um, pressure sensitivity works great. And the best thing about it is I can control the pressure sensitivity. Uh, I can control the pressure sensitivity when I want it and when I don't want it. Like right here, I want it right here. I don't want it. So that's a thick line. I want it. You no, know, just by pressing down on the uh, on the uh, Bosto tablet and by just uh, lifting my hand up just a little bit just decreasing the pressure I get a nice thin line so this is what I want you know I want thin thick thin thick so I can be able to come in here and come here and actually do some nice sketches with it you know and uh and uh, control A uh, backspace and uh, I want to be able to come here and use this pen the way I mean use it like I would like I was using my Wacom tablet and I have my Wacom tablet hooked up to this it worked just as good you know but it was just a you know a regular Wacom tablet you know it wasn't it didn't have a screen on it like this one has and uh, when I first started uh, when I first started using it all I used was Sketchbook Pro the reason why is um, suppose I want to draw an eye. Alright, that's a little eye right here. And I'm getting the press percentage tail. I'm getting everything I want from, you know, this is the way I want it, no, want to draw my eye look. And I'll pretty much draw another eye over here. Now, this is the way, you know, easy sketchable, you know, and, and I do these little light sketches over it, and then I come back and pull up, put up, you know, put, give my hand a little bit more pressure to, uh, to come back and refine the drawing some, you know. You know, so uh, that's basically control over what I want drawn. Now I'm over here in Photoshop, and I can't get that in Photoshop. I've tweaked everything. I've turned the flicks thing off, and and uh, the flick. I went down here and turned this little the flicks. I turned it off. I did everything I possibly could 
for like these last no last seven eight months since I've owned this thing, and for some reason I can't get no control over. I want this to evolve into this line, but I'm not getting that. You know, it works right here, but then, like I said, I get these crappy ass lines in between of what I'm doing, you know, and uh, especially when, uh, see, I get this shit right here, especially when I, see, I get this crap right there, and, uh, see, this crap, I'm drawing, this, touching the pads, trying to draw as light as I can, And I'm still getting these lines I don't want. I want these lines. I don't want that line. And every time I draw here, then then look. All right, I want to put. I'm gonna use light pressure. Then use thick pressure. And I'm not getting no variations in my lines. The lines are are not, you know, as good as it is in Sketchbook Pro. And then I get like these angled, like I want a, a curved line here, but I'm getting these angled lines this angle line right here and I see this shit I do not want this I do not want that either I want when I go to Photoshop I want this control I want control this is not control that's not control that's not control you know this is not control and look even the circle right here you see this shit I mean I don't know what this is but I don't know I've been I don't know over the last past eight months I had this thing I've been like going to the Facebook page and laying on the Facebook page saying hey uh what's wrong with my uh why come this is not cooperating with Photoshop the way it's, what way y'all advertise I mean I've seen people you know have this thing work with Photoshop they said just install the driver and do this stuff, but I've installed the driver, did everything I possibly could, and I'm still getting this bull crap. See, this stuff. You know, these stupid lines right here, these, I don't know where they came from lines. Backspace. See, that crap. These anger, these, these straight anger lines, I don't know what the hell. See this crap right here. See, <sighs> ah. you see this pen just laid down all these lines I didn't want. So, and you're seeing this as I draw in real time that uh, these lines stink. See, I'm I'm getting them all over the place now. pisses me off every time I come in this program and use this as you can see I don't know what what it is why I get these angles in here I mean, somebody say it's the flicks or whatever. I don't know what it is. I just wish I had a better explanation of why when I draw some of these lines in here, they go rogue. Like, these lines right here are cool. But if I keep on doing this, drawing like this, I'm going to get a couple of rogue lines. And it really, it really gets me when I, like, see... When I start drawing the opposite direction, like I go like one direction, it has some nice lines that I, I, I would say, well, I like, and then those lines up here, then I go the opposite direction, I get this crap, this crap, this crap. You know, then when I draw, I try to draw a good illustration of drawing, you know, I get all these crappy lines, seeing like that one, that one, those. 
So I don't know what it is. And uh, I'm hoping I can get some answers. Hope I, hopefully, hope, hopefully they can give me some answers on this. I mean, I want to post this actually on their Facebook page. And hopefully they'll tell me what I'm doing wrong. If I am doing something wrong. Uh, the alternative to Cintiq. That's all I had to show you, you know. Like I say, it works great. It works great in the... This works great in uh it uh sketchbook. I have no problems with it in the sketchbook. No problems. Like I said, this is, I have no problem with this in sketchbook. It's just Photoshop I'm having all the issues with. So. Probably that's crap, but uh, I'm having I mean, no issues with the sketchbook. You know, sketchbook, I have control of my lines. It's just that when I go to Photoshop with this program, it will not act right whatsoever. <laughs> all right, that's all I have to say. You know, if uh, Basto, you uh, just answer to this video and tell me what the hell's going on. Alright, thank you very much. Let's see how I close this out. Gotta go over here. And hit that. And then.